Hello all, I am Santana Lakshmi. The task given to me is to classify the traffic signs and give an alert to the user. So we have to build a model that can uh, identify and identify and classify the traffic signs and give alert to the user. So let me switch to the code. So, so this is the code I have um, implemented. So the first thing is to uh, clone the clone or download the data set. So I have cloned the data set. So inside this uh, folder there are actually four uh, files in it. Uh, uh, the data set that is training, testing and the validation are in the pickle format. And there is one more uh, uh, CSV file that tells uh, um, what is the traffic sign name for each class label. Okay. So this is what I have uh, defined it here for the first uh, five labels. The next thing is I am importing all the necessary packages. So I am implemented. I have implemented this uh, uh, module in the Kara. So I have uh, uh, imported all the Kara's necessary packages. Then matplotlib for vis visualization and so on. So I am getting this warning because of the NumPy only. And then next thing is like uh, I am uh, loading and I am loading all the data set which are in the pickle format ok I am reading and loading it all the data set in the pickle format uh, which is in the pickle format to the matrix form I am loading it so we can see it here and once it is loaded there are actually two features present in it one is the features and another one is the labels so uh, features I am uh, that is the matrix format for the corresponding images ok so I am uh, assigning it to the train X and the labels to the train Y similarly for the validation and the testing data set. Once it is loaded we can see the shape of the training and the testing or the validation data set. So for example for the training data uh, the shape is like a 34700 and uh, each with uh, shape 32 cross 32 cross 3 right. So this means 34,000 is the number of images and 32 cross 32 cross 3 is the height width cross the number of channels that is the RGB channel 3 denotes the RGB channel ok. Next what I am doing is like I am getting the number of samples from each class in the training data set. So you can see here uh, I am getting the number of uh, um, images that are present in the each class label. If it is 0 then there are 210 images present in it. If it is class label 1 then, uh, then there are 2220 images present in it and so on. Uh, why I did I will say it in the say it further. So like uh, when plotting the distribution of this the number of samples that are present in the each class in the training data set we can see like uh, the data set is more of uh, uh, skewed right. So if you take a class label 0, there are some uh, 210 images present in it. If you take class label 1, there are more number of images present in it like more than 2200, right? There are more number of data set, class 1, class 2 and if again if you see for class 3, there are only less number of data set present. So this is kind of like more of a skewed data set, right? So uh, like class we can say so this is what class imbalances so how we are going to deal with it I will say it in the uh, say it in future like we are going to add some class weight in the Keras thing ok yeah so next is like I am just um, randomly uh, plotting one image uh, training data image so to visualize it how it looks like so this is how it looks like ok now I am going to convert this RGB data to the grayscale. The reason why we have to convert this to grayscale is uh, whenever you take the traffic sign you can um, you can see the traffic signs will be in different colors. You, you cannot say it will be in particular color only. So color isn't necessary there. What we need is we have to identify what is this um, exact exact uh, traffic sign is right so color isn't required there only edges and shapes are necessary so we'll discard the rgb channel and we'll take only the edges and shapes so edges and shapes will be more visible in the grayscale 
so we are discarding it so we can convert it into the grayscale that's what i'm doing it here i have defined a definition and i'm using the open cv to um, to uh, convert the uh, rgb channel to the grayscale image okay so here i am randomly taking the image i am taking the same image here so and i am checking whether it is converting into the grayscale or not i am plotting i have also plotted it here you can see uh, the grayscale image is uh, done right for the rgb channel next we have to convert this to the um, convert all the images that are in the low contrast to the high contrast or standardize it okay we have to uh, we have to make all the pixel values in the image and all the image that are in the low contrast to one standardized form we have to equalize it so for that we are using histogram equalization technique that's a standard uh, that's a standardized thing or uh, that's a technique to standardize uh, all the contrast or the light in all the images okay so if you check the traffic sign data set you will be able to see like uh, there are more of uh, blur images and more of uh, low quality images when you will be able to see so for that uh, to avoid that like uh, we have to make it all the images of the same format so to make it more um, equalization we are uh, using this histogram equalization technique okay so i have uh, defined it defined it here which is uh, uh, which will use cv2 dot equalize histogram histogram technique and after that i'm plotting the same image okay this uh, this image is like from here guys okay this image so i'm plotting it and you can see it has converted into the um, it has converted into one standardized format okay now i am i have defined a definition that's a processing where it will uh, it will call the both the functions like grayscale and the equalize then we are converting it into the uh, then we are doing a normalization process here that is we are converting all the pixels in an image to the range of 0 to 1 so in order to do that we have to divide the pixel values to 255 by 255 means why we are using 255 is the maximum pixel value is the 255 is 255 so we are um, actually dividing it by 255 okay so next what we have to do is like we have to convert all the all the data set to this grayscale and the histogram technique okay so i'm um, i'm converting it by this map processing and i'm um, making it as a numpy array okay so uh, this uh, i'm calling this a function processing function which will call these both grayscale and equalization technique and for all the images in the train data set validation and the test data set i'm doing the same process now i'm just plotting a random image to check it out whether it has converted or not yes it has been converted as we can see next is like i am going to um, reshape all the images in the data set to the three dimensional okay why we have to do is like i'll just let you know like uh, for the keras module it requires three dimensional only not two dimensional alone. since we have converted into the grayscale we will not be having the dimension uh, so we have to convert it into the uh, three dimensional format okay so here you can see um, so here uh, train x dot reshape i have used the function uh, and i have also converted uh, reshaped into the format okay here train x dot shape array 0 is the number of images and train x dot shape array 1 is the height then uh, 2 is the width and this is actually 1 is actually uh, the grayscale representation that's a grayscale channel since grayscale will have only one channel if it is going to be rgb then it will have the uh, value as 3 okay next what we are going to do is like we are going to generate some uh, some more few more data set with different angles actually using this keras image data generator this image generator if you are using it will not going to 
make uh, some uh, images in the directory where the images are stored rather it will be uh, it will it will not be in in memory actually okay rather it will be used only here okay it will not create any images in the directory so you can see canvas.preprocessing.image i have imported the image data generator and using this function we will be creating different images actually okay uh, and um, and then next thing is we have to one hot encode the labels okay we have to convert the labels uh, uh, to the one hot encoding format so that it will be easy easily represented okay uh, so i have done this using two category called from keras library and uh, next you can see um, i have just uh, uh, defined the model i have made a model definition like uh, i didn't import this um, library before so i am importing it here from keras.layers import trello and i'm going to build the model right okay so these are some uh, predefined libraries in keras so using that i'm building the convolutional neural network here so there are two convolutional uh, things i'm using it here and um, to convolutional block actually or convolution layer you can see and here another i'm representing it okay next i'm uh, at last i'm using the uh, fully connected layer and uh, the layers are of size of 500 and each uh, that layer will have 500 number of uh, units and i'm applying dropout and the uh, dense um, thing as well okay i'm sorry at last we are using uh, uh, the classes that we have to identify uh, so there are actually 43 classes as we said this is from the sign names i have taken so there are actually 43 classes so 43 nodes will be there and the activation that we are using is the softmax activation okay and at last we will be compiling the model and returning the model okay so i just uh, printed the summary of the model you can see uh, what are the layers that i have used here and these are the parameters that are going to be used by the model okay there is many number of parameters so total parameters will be uh, 3 lakh 78000 parameters are there next is like uh, we have to train the model so i am training it here uh, model dot fit generator i'm using it for the training purpose and then this data gen is uh, like here we have um, uh, generated some data set right so this this also we have to take data set so i'm taking it here data gen dot flow of your train x train y then batch size we have to define you can define uh, the batch size uh, whatever you want according to the data set that you are using then the uh, steps per epoch and the epochs and the validation data set is also i am using it here so i'll get uh, what is the validation accuracy and loss so you can see the training loss here and the accuracy here and the validation loss and validation accuracy so keras will uh, print it actually when we train it so you can see here loss is actually decreasing and accuracy is getting increased and i was able to achieve actually 92 percent only for the training data set and for validation it was 96 percent accuracy so i'm uh, plotting the um, uh, loss function and the accuracy here so you can see the loss is getting decreased the training and validation was next with the test data i'm going to evaluate the model you can see the accuracy score is of 96 percent accuracy and uh, so yeah and finally we'll just uh, we 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 also should test the model with the different uh, different images right that is from the real-time external image so i have downloaded an external image that is using this url i have downloaded it and i've plotted this this sign we actually know we have to turn left right so this is the traffic sign so i am uh, i'm also doing all kind of uh, pre-processing it here and i'm converting it into grayscale and equalization histogram i'm applying it then at last you can see uh, i'm predicting predicting the class of this image so this model will say what is the predicted class 
predicted class label is 34 and the corresponding uh, sign is it has to turn left ahead that's it guys this implementation is done uh, we can use another image also and check it out uh, so this will predict it correctly okay the model will be able to predict it correctly and that's all thank you all